welcome to another War Masters Workshop tutorial. Today we're going to be <clears throat> putting um, snaps on our uh, on the inside of our armor plates. Now a lot of people get a little nervous when you start talking about using snaps for um, attaching armor. Um, I'll be the first person to tell you it's not as bad as it seems. I think people get nervous about it, but the reality of it is it's, it's not that bad. Um, the tools that we're going to need, <clears throat> if, if you want this to go quickly, go buy yourself a snap setter. That is, um, that's, that's something that you really absolutely need for this. Uh, otherwise, you're going to be um, having to use an anvil and a hammer, one of these little tiny ones that come with the, uh, usually come with the snaps. I don't personally um, advise that so anyway yeah you want uh, you want to get a snap setter and um, you're gonna need some adhesive I like to use either e6000 or goop depending on uh, what you've got available because you need an adhesive that is relatively um, flexible I don't I don't want an adhesive that's too uh, you know that's that's uh, too rigid Otherwise, that could be that could cause problems. So, what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, we're going to put the male end, um, which is the actual snap, the in the side that goes inside um, of the the other end. But we're going to use the male end of the snap, and we're going to put those. We're going to adhere them to five points um, around the chest plate, and it's basically the five corners. Okay, so you've got the two inside diamond tabs. You've got the end of the dog leg here, or the fang, as some people call it. You've got the outside corner here, and then you've got the top outside corner there. So what we're going to do is we're going to start out by, I'm actually going to uh, smash these, these down, because I want that, there's a little piece underneath, and I want the glue to adhere to that piece. There we go. You can see it's nice and smashed down. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our adhesive right here on this corner. I didn't realize I had gotten the black E6000, but I'm kind of glad I did, really. I'll be honest with you, this glove is getting in my way. There we go. It is always better to use gloves. I'm just not because it, it's getting in my way. So, All right, so we're going to put it there. And what I did is as I, um, as I put the snap in, as I put it in, I twirled it. I just kind of twisted it a little bit so I could get some glue in between the, uh, those two layers that we've made there. I'm actually going to put just a wee tick of glue right back here. Not much. And you don't want to get glue on the snap itself like I just did. So if you do, I would uh, always suggest you have a cotton bud or a toothpick available. Something you can, there we go, scrape that off with. Because um, if you get glue on these, they will not snap. Alright, so that's good. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to use just some clamps here. These are just cheap clamps, plastic clamps. And I'm going to clamp it down so that it, that it <clears throat> adheres nicely. And then I'm going to move on. We're going to do the same thing. Move these out of my way so I don't knock them over, except this time I'm going to bring the camera a little bit lower here so you can see exactly what I do. I'm going to put a little, little dot, well, I'm going to say a good sized dot, a dab. And then twist. 
you can't really see that, but I just twist it just ever so gently to pick up that adhesive and get it sort of right right over the the edge. See if I can bring this down so you can see how that looks. And I'll point. See how the adhesive here. If I can get the camera to focus. See the adhesive comes right up to the lip and and um, it adheres between the two halves that we've put together there. Pull it out just slightly. I want it kind of close to the edge, but not too close to the edge there. Now I'm going to use another clamp. The good thing about it is this stuff takes a long time to uh, to set up, so don't worry about uh, the stuff drying as you're working. It's not going to happen. So there we go. We got two done. So let's move on to the bottom corner here. I like to do these in order. We're going to put another good size dab like we did the other one. All right, we did our twist, and now let's put our clamp on there. The good thing about this uh, goop is that it is self-leveling, so you don't have to worry about wiping it down or anything. All right, so there is our chest plate. We're going to let that... Uh, cure. So let's get the collar plate. So what we're going to do is we're going to put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven snaps. Uh, uh, uh. All right. So that's on there. All we have to do now is wait for these to dry. And then we can put on our center snap. We'll be good to go. So we've gotten our snaps set on all of our pieces of armor. And what we're going to do now is we're going to use this painter's tape, painter's masking tape, to cover the areas where the armor is going to sit on the vest. And then we're going to take a little bit of paint and we're going to put some, some acrylic paint on these snaps and then push the armor down the appropriate area, nice and, nice and tight. And what that's going to do is it's going to leave that paint on the tape and we can see exactly where we need to punch our holes for our snaps. So let's go ahead and get this um, taped up, this collar here, and uh, we'll go ahead and push this this collar plate down and we'll get it set in. So we've got our collar area on the vest here all taped over and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to put acrylic paint, just a little bit of some white acrylic paint I'm going to put that right here on these snaps. We're just going to cover them up with this acrylic paint. Just the surface here. Hopefully you have a better brush than I do. This brush is dried out, so not that it really matters. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to line this up on the tape. We're going to line it up right here at the seams of the vest. Let 
and then we're going to push it in and we're going to hold it in so the paint transfers off to the, the tape. And then we let it up. And there we have our marks. Now this one here is not the greatest. So we can actually we can actually wait and get that one at the end. If we need to remark it, but for now, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six seven marks that we can use <clears throat> to make the holes in our vests. All right, so I punched through the tape. We made our uh, paint marks. I punched through with an awl, and I did that around the entire piece. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take an X-Acto knife here, and I'm just going to just very lightly make a plus in this hole. Because I don't want it to close. There we go. And then I'm going to take a snap, a female set of snaps. I'm going to put one end of the snap right here, the post end. I'm going to put the female end right there. Then I'm going to use a pair of snap setters these are snap setter snap setter tool there we go sorry about that now this is the difficult part there we go i just kind of roll up the fabric here the main thing is making sure that both pieces are in there. Looks like they are. And then we just close it just like that. And look at there, we got our first snap in. Perfect. All right, so here's our next hole. You're going to see there's two holes there. I'm just going to kind of erase that little hole there. We want this hole here, so I'm just going to put my X-Acto knife in there again to widen that hole just a little bit, not much. We just kind of want to make a plus. We can actually go ahead and lift this tape pretty far out of the way. We just want to make a plus. Just like that, and once again, we get a set of female snaps, post and female end. Push it through, just like that. What I actually like to do is I like to put, I like to go ahead and inset that side into the snap holder because this is rubber, the, the snap setter. This is rubber, so it'll hold it in there. And then I just tightly roll up the shoulder bell as tight as I can. Looks like my post came out here. There we go. Really want to roll it up tight. There we are. Get your snap setter in. Get your female set or side or your uh, post set into the cradle there on the setter. Get 
It's tough with this much fabric, but you can do it. There we go. And just close it. And there you go. It didn't, it didn't set the best there, but it, it should be good enough. Let's uh, let's just test that to make sure. Yeah, that's good enough. All right, so we've got the snaps for the collar plate all set in, and you can see with the crease here, we've got our center one right there where the crease of this vest is, so we know it's dead center. So let's go ahead and pop this on. One more snap after this one. And there we go. All right, so there's the collar plate. Collar plate is on, which means all we have left to put on there is our chest plates. What we have done, what I've done here is I've taken um, the blue masking tape and I have covered the entire area where the torso plates here will sit. And so what I have to do at this point is I need to measure. I need to make sure that I have um, an equal spacing and uh, spacing that's not too wide. That's that's one thing you really want to avoid. And uh, and it's, it's hard to do when you're using snaps. Uh, measuring your, your plate width and getting these plates settled right is probably one of the most difficult things to do with with snaps because um, snaps you know like I've said before with snaps they're not super forgiving so if you accidentally make a hole in the wrong place well now you've, you've got a hole in your vest so uh, we want to avoid that as much as possible so the main thing here is to measure out and and keep some um, some hallmarks in mind I'm gonna move the camera back just a touch here so I can show you um, some places that you really want to uh, use as reference points. So obviously, since we're doing the chest plates now, we want to use at the corners of our collar plate here as a reference area. So you've got these two edges here, these two corners, and then you've got the center piece here. So a good rule of thumb is to use your thumb. And I like to put my thumb right there between the plates to check the gap. And if my thumb fits right through here, then I know that my gap is is good. I've got a pretty good gap. And if I press down on my shoulder or my collar plate here, I can see that I've pretty, I have a very equal amount of space um, right there between the, the corners of my shoulder plate and the corners of my chest plates. Now I want to make sure that my chest plates don't exceed the corners of my collar plate. Now you can have some overlap um, that's not a big deal. I personally don't like the overlap, so I like to keep everything nice and crisp and uh, you know symmetrical when it comes to these these lines matching up. So I just got my ruler here. I'm just going to give some of these uh, some some quick measurements here. So I'm looking for one centimeter at two inches, which it is one centimeter at two inches, and the same here, two inches. There we go. Now it's one centimeter. So let's go again two inches. One centimeter of space. I'm going to check right down here. You want to always check move the camera here a bit. Right down here. The gut plate, that's always uh, an area that. Uh, is problematic for some. So we want to make sure that these are even. And move this up just a little bit on this side. 
just gonna check. See what my looks like it's about eight millimeters. I want you to come down just a uh, actually, yeah, we're pretty pretty close to, to being equal. And you want to measure these areas right here where the inside of the dog leg um, are at their closest point to the uh, the gut plate here. So I'm just going to measure that. Looks like I've got half a centimeter there and half a centimeter there, so that's good. Up here, I've got another thumb space. Looks like this chest plate has moved a little bit. There we go. That's what you got to watch out for. So what I'm going to do to try to capture this is to take a ballpoint pen and trace around these. Now you can use a Sharpie too if you want to. I prefer to use the ballpoint pen. Actually, you know what? Nah, we'll use a Sharpie. That's okay. But if you do, you want to make sure you use a, uh, a Sharpie with a very sharp end. So that kind of Sharpie with a nice pointy end. Not an old Sharpie. All right, so we're just going to go around just like this. And we're just marking out where our chest plate sits on the tape. You can't go all the way around, that's fine. The main thing is get it um, as close as you can. You can take this off. main thing is don't get it on the vest. You can wipe it off of the, uh, the armor plate. You're not going to be able to wipe it off the vest. Alright, and let's pull this piece up. Just keep going all the way around. You can do this with a ballpoint pen also, like we we're going to start out doing, but of course that could get a little, a little difficult.
And if you do get some, um, if you do get some Sharpie on your armor, some Sharpie marks, just take a little alcohol. That'll that'll pull it right off without hurting the paint. This also gives you a really good way of uh, checking your spacing. Alright, so we can pull this off, we can pull these off, and there you go. Now you've got, you've got your templates, your spacing templates for uh, the way in which you need to put your armor, or set your armor on here. Okay, so we have our, uh, the male ends of our chest plate here painted. We're going to go ahead and stick these on, now I'm going to line it up here right with our marks. And we want to try to keep it from sliding around as much as possible. I know that's going to be difficult. And then just press it, but not, not too hard. But press it in lightly. And bring it up. And there we go. We have our marks so we know where we can make our holes. Let's go ahead and get our awl. Right here we have our our all, and we're just gonna punch a hole there, punch a hole here, punch a hole here, punch a hole right here. That's the outside edge of that male snap. And we're going to punch a final hole right over here. So what we're going to do now, here is where it gets a little bit crazy. We want to be careful not to cut the fabric, but we're going to cut this tape. I'm going to lift this tape off ever ever so gently we're going to go right down the center line here i'm using my exacto because we want to get this plate snapped on before we do the next plate. So I'm taking all this tape back off. Now we want to be real careful through here. Because we don't want to ruin our our template for the chest plate either. Or for the gut plate, I'm sorry, not the chest plate. Now I'm sure there's people that have, there's makers that have uh, easier ways to do this. This is just how I do it. Way back in the old days, I used to actually just wear the vest myself, 
then I press the armor, I paint it, paint the little, uh, the snap, the male snaps, and then I just press it onto myself as I wore the vest. So, I mean, you can always do that too if you want. Alright, so as you can see our holes right through here, so we're going to go ahead and hit those with the exacto to open them up a little bit. This one we got to be careful with because it's right at a seam line, so we're going to go right next to that seam line there. And we may drop a little glue on this over here. Just to make sure that seam doesn't unravel, but I think as long as we can get the post through it without busting that seam, we should be fine. I'm going to unzip this vest just a tick so I can get back here. That one. This one's going to be a little bit difficult because it's kind of out in the there we go. If you have to cut into the, your tape cast a little bit, it's fine. All you need to do is use a little tape to close it up. And then the last one, which is right here. There we go. All right. Now, what I'm going to do at this point is I'm just going to pull the vest off. I'm going to set the snaps. We'll put the vest back on here and we'll do the next side. So we have our uh, right chest plate on, well, I guess you should say it's snapped on at this point. We got all the snaps put on, um, and now it's time to do our left chest plate. So let's go ahead. I'm going to show you how we get that painted up. We'll pull this tape off of here because we don't need that at this point. You want to be somewhat quick about this. Now, some of you are probably asking, well, how did you set the snaps? Well, a couple of the uh, the outer snaps that went more towards the, the, the armholes, I was able to do with my uh, snap setters, my hand setter. But the other snaps, the ones that are inside, these right here, um, I have to actually set those using the uh, the hammer and anvil that comes with the snaps so there's instructions on how to do that on pretty much any packet of snaps so i'm not really going to get into that in the video so all right so ready so we're gonna we're gonna sort of hover this into position here and let's get it set down just like that and then press it. Let me bring it back just a touch. There we go. Press it in real good so that we get that nice circular pattern. All right, perfect. All right, so we have our snap set. So let's go ahead and we're gonna put this, actually first, I'm just gonna wipe this off with my fingers on around the edges here. There we go. Let's get that acrylic paint off of there. Not that it really matters, but, you know, the niceties. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm going to put the outer snaps on first. Those are popping right on. Of course, the outside ones usually are the easiest. Now let's do the insides. <laughs> That one pops right on. And then this one, I'm going to undo this clip. Go up here. And I'm going to pop that one on as well. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That is looking really good. Alrighty, look at that. Move the camera so you can actually see. That is looking nice.
All right, so now we need to make sure that the template for our gut plate is still good. So let's grab our gut plate. <clears throat> and let's go ahead and set it back into that template area and make sure that our lines are all correct, which honestly it looks still looks pretty darn good. We need to drop it a little bit on this side. The main thing too we want to do is make sure we are following these seams in the cloth. But I think I think for the most part we got it going on pretty good here. Yeah, I mean other than a little bit of a change down here at the bottom and one thing I want to do here is let me straighten these seams up just a tick because once you put this on you want the seams to be um, the seams to be straight with the armor as well now of course not all vests have these overlapping seams that run all the way up but my wife, this, these are, this is the type my wife makes, and that's, uh, that's how she does it, so. And I like to use those, those seams as a, as a reference point. And so I think, let me get my Sharpie back. I'm gonna make another quick update to the lines here but for the most part really it's all it's all pretty much the same all right so let's paint this take that off And of course, after this, the last thing we have to put on is the chest diamond. And then we can do the shoulders real quick. They're pretty easy. And we'll be good to go. So we've got everything painted up here. You want to make sure you put enough paint on it to transfer over. It's important. Yeah. Now we're going to line this up. Luckily we've got a couple of handlebars down here at the bottom. Line it up. Line it up. Then we press down so that we get the whole circular impression on there. Press down real good. Let it up, pull up. Looks like we missed one right there, but I think we can take a pretty good guess and say it's right about here. All right, so the last thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna put the, um, the chest diamond in. It's gonna sit right about here That'll be about center. I think actually, I think that would be pretty much perfect center. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and like we've done the other pieces, we're gonna paint these two snaps. We've got a little bit of a little bit of paint here left. It's it's getting thick on us, so. Really gonna 
make sure I put plenty of paint on this because I want to make sure to get I want to get this diamond perfectly centered because or centered as perfect as humanly possible because I will give you a I'm going to tell you a little hint here if your diamond is not centered it's probably the easiest piece of armor um, to see or to to realize that's it's that's you know if it's not centered you can tell it's super easy so gonna set it right on there like that put my finger here right in the center to hold it down gonna eyeball it a little bit and that looks as dead center as it's gonna get I'll push it down nice and nice and firm Make sure we get some good paint transition there. Lift it up. Look at that. Perfect. That's what you want. I'll take her all. We're going to go smack as, you know, as close to the center as we can go on this with our hands. Just make a, make a mark. Same here. Make another mark, and there we go. All right, so we have our diamond plate in. I'm just going to do a quick scan down the armor here so you can see how nicely that looks. That's really turned out super nice. Evenly spaced. Let me flip it this way so you can take a look from this end as well. But there's, it's got a nice even spacing between the chest plates and the gut plate. All the way up to the collar plate. And I mean, this is one nice fluid movement up and down the armor here. You do, there's a little bit of rise on this side that you can see that's basically just from the, the tape. The tape cast on that side rises up slightly. But this is a nice fluid motion. If you look at it from the side, there's no float away. See, you don't have any pieces that are overlapping. These edges here are nice and straight, flush with each other. There's no float away. Look at it on this side too. See how that edge is nice and it's a continuation. That's what you want. You don't want pieces that overlap, pieces that look like they're floating off the vest. Everything should look nice and attached. Now one thing I will say is if you have some snaps that are loose after you've put them on, you can always glue them. Um, you know, use some super glue. That way you can always break them off if you need to. You can put a little bit of uh, acetone uh, around the snap and pop the uh, the snap back off if you need to. But um, when, when you set these snaps, especially when you do it with the, the little uh, hammer and anvil that comes with the snaps, sometimes it will uh, make the snaps a little bit loose. I know there's a couple weak ones on here, and um, my advice would be to glue them. But as you can see, the, the, diamond, the diamond plate here is nice and even, evenly spaced top and bottom and on the sides. It's not crooked. That's the way you want it. <laughs> so now let's go ahead and let's get our shoulders on. These should be pretty easy. Let me grab my tape. Now, because this vest is piped, there's a couple ways you can do this. You could actually put your armor um, inside the piping if you want. The only problem with that is that sometimes it'll it will uh, it'll rise above the piping, and the piping might cause it to pop off. So I like to bring it just slightly below the piping. I use the seam right here as sort of a guide. Now these shoulders are already painted. That makes it slightly easier. Let me get this tape started here. Let 
and we're just going to put the tape right along the the piping line there I want to make sure I get some in the back right here And I'm kind of eyeballing it here to make sure that I get it even. I want enough fabric. I want enough fabric showing here or the same amount showing in the front as I have showing in the back. All right, so this is actually a lot easier. Is I simply want to get an impression. I'm not even going to worry about painting these. I just want to get an impression of the, uh, of the snap. So I'm lining it up here next to the, the piping. You can see here I've got, I do have a gap between the shoulder and the piping. Let me move the camera just a little bit more. There is a gap here. There's no overlap. And then what I'm do, gonna do here is I'm gonna lightly press on both sides. Well, I'm sorry, not lightly, firmly press. Once I know it's nice and lined up, I'm gonna firmly press it just like that. And I'm gonna get this See that indentation? And you want to move quick because that has a that has a tendency to work its way out. So I'm going to take my awl real quick, punch that, and then underneath here I got the same thing. So I'm going to punch that, I'm going to pull my tape off. We're going to reuse this tape for the other side because we we have used a, a lot of tape for this. I'm going to grab my snap setter. And I'm going to grab some snaps. I have lots of those. Grab my chair here. There's my snaps. All right. And before we forget, we need our exacto to open these holes up slightly. Whoops, sorry. My wife likes to double layer these shoulders sometimes. And uh, while that makes them super strong, it also makes them a little bit uh, of a pain to deal with. But I like that. I like that they're uh, they're tough. All right, so let's get our let's see if we can get our post in here. Let's open this up a little bit more. There we go. There we are. First snap set. Let's get this snap up here. You're gonna see that one a little bit better because it is in a, a bit better camera light. There we are. Now let's go ahead and snap this on. Make sure I have the right one. It's right here on underneath me here. Perfect. Snap this on. 
just like that. Look at that. Beautiful. Here we have our fully attached torso armor. All the plates are nicely attached. You can see they're nice and firm on there. They're not coming off. We've got this nice um, symmetry here. Same here, nice symmetry. We've got um, our uh, uh, gap is is equal, as equal as we can humanly make it around all sides. And our shoulder plates are on. So, yeah, that's how we, uh, that is how we attach armor to a vest using snaps. <laughs> it is time consuming. It is uh, the more painful of the ways to do it, in my opinion, but it does uh, it does allow you to take your armor on and off. You can also permanently attach it if you want to. You just need a little bit of glue for that, and uh, and that's that's really about it. That's uh, that's pretty much it for how you do it. It does require a lot of time and a lot of patience, but if you apply those two things properly, time and patience, you will get the product that you're looking for. So, yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for tuning in for this month's War Masters Workshop. I hope you've learned a lot about using snaps and how you attach your armor to your vest um, using snaps and even proper sp uh, spacing. Um, if you enjoy these, please feel free to support them on uh, Patreon. That's how we uh, make the money to support the workshop here. And, uh, yeah, join us next month for the next War Masters Workshop. And until then, uh, keep crafting. Thank you.